All right, Jason. Yes, sir. Jason, uh, where'd you grow up? Where are you from originally? Me, I'm from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. You're from Philly? Mm-hmm. Tell me about your family growing up. You had mom and dad? Uh, yeah, I grew up with my mother in Delaware. You know, I just saw my dad on the weekends. Um, I lived in uh, Newcastle County. Went to Linden Hill Elementary. How would you describe your childhood? I think my childhood was really, really good. I grew up uh, in a really nice development. It was called uh, Saddle Ridge. There's another one called North Point. It was in Delaware by like Goldie Peak and College, Pike Creek. So a good childhood. Yeah. You got you got involved in drugs somehow, somewhere, right? Yeah. Yeah, it happens. How did that get started? Huh? How did that get started? I started using when I was like uh, 12 years old, I remember. Like, I was in seventh grade and like people started smoking pot. And I just couldn't wait to start smoking pot. Like, I was just looking up on the internet, bongs, bowls, um, marijuana pipes. I wanted to grow weed. It was about the time that the legalization of marijuana started in Colorado and in California. And I remember I was just like, I couldn't wait to start smoking weed. You know what I mean? I started smoking weed. And... I really, really like smoking weed, you know what I mean? I was a pothead. Um, started smoking some tree. My dad caught me smoking weed, you know what I mean? He had a Watusi. He wasn't happy about it. You know what I mean? Um, but then, like, he took me to a concert and smoked some weed with me one time just to, like, try to be cool. Um, yeah, but I was always on, like, uh, uh, ADHD medication, and, like, that's how my addiction, like, really, really started. I was, um, I was abusing Falcolin, Ritalin, you know, Adderall, amphetamines, whatever I get my hands on. And I really got strung out on those. That's really like the first drug I ever got strung out on. What are you using now? Uh, right now I use um, I use fentanyl and I use meth. You've been living on the streets. Yeah, I've been on the streets for a couple of years. How many years have you been on the streets? Like four years. Four years. Where do you sleep? You just like crash anywhere? Yeah. It's dangerous though. I'm trying to sleep on the streets. I woke up in the bed a couple of times and I had to fight off, you know, like an attacker. What do they want from you? Nothing. They're just crazy and they fucking start shit. Hmm. How do you, uh, how do you make money? How do you support yourself? Um, I, I panhandle usually, you know, I know some people that prostitute. Men and women. Uh-huh. Men and women. Yeah. You, you'll do that sometimes? Yeah. Oh, I see. Yeah. You know, whatever it takes. What does this life do to you emotionally? No, it just, uh, I just be trying to block out my emotions for the most part. Tell me about your leg. Uh, my leg is just, um, it, it, I guess from like not laying on it, uh, I guess from like laying on it too long, it, it's just gotten swollen. You know, I got these like, I got this bacterial infection. I got these crevices that have been opening. Yeah, I gotta go to the doctor and get that checked out. But it, it, it looks almost twice as thick as your other leg. Yeah. 
Yeah. I'm just trying to stay off of it as much as I possibly can. As much as I possibly can. But my foot right here, um, I accidentally banged it and hit like an artery. And I almost bled out of my fucking ankle right here. Yeah. Is it painful? Um, yeah, it's painful. Pretty painful. You haven't seen a doctor about it? Um, I did. He just told me to stay off of it. They had to give me a blood transfusion because they said I lost a lot of blood. Yeah. How old are you now? 26. I just turned 26. 26. Back in August. Young man. Did you have dreams of doing something with your life? Yeah. I had dreams. What did you want to do? I wanted to uh, do music. You know, I wanted to write songs. I wanted to be like a rock star or a rapper. Have you tried to get clean? Yeah, I, I had some clean time out here. I came out here, I was in treatment. I had some clean time. I was sober for a hot little minute. I got my life together. I had an apartment. I had a steady job. You know, um, working at a call center. And life was good. Life was good for a minute. Do you have family? Still? Um, I don't know. My family all kind of split up. Me, each of them is dealing with their own problems. And because of these problems, like, we've been separate. We can't really see each other. You don't really talk anymore? Uh, we don't really talk that much anymore. You don't have children of your own? No. What's your biggest regret? My biggest regret? Um, getting kicked out of school. I got kicked out of school because I used to... What age was that? Act like a fool. When I was like 14, 15. So you never finished high school? No, I think that was the catalyst for everything, really, was acting a fool and getting kicked out of school. Do you have friends? Not really, not anymore. What does your typical day look like? My typical day, I wake up, you know, I gotta get up, I gotta panhandle, and I gotta get well in the morning, you know what I mean? Get, I usually go and withdraw. If I get the withdrawal off of me, you know what I mean? I just try to, uh, I try to go and get as much sunlight as I can. I go to McDonald's, get something to eat. You know, get something in my stomach. Um, you know, as I eat, I just walk around and try to do whatever I can to collect money. So, you know, I keep... Do you sleep at night? Yeah, sometimes. Sometimes I don't. I slept. I only woke up twice last night. Sometimes I don't sleep at night. It depends. It's cold this time of year, too. Yeah. You get lonely living this life? Yeah. Very lonely. What, what do you think most people don't understand about drug addiction? 
you know what I'm saying? Like, um, the way it hijacks, like, our brain, it changes the way we think. You know what I mean? Like, how it never goes away, like, the compulsion, the desire to use. You know what I mean? The way it takes priority over anything else. I don't think you understand how hard it is to stay sober. You feel helpless sometimes? No, I don't feel helpless. I feel like I've been trying to receive a lot of help, but like, I'm just like not willing to receive it all the time. What's your biggest fear? Dying alone by myself. You think there's a better chance of you getting clean and getting, you know, getting life together, yeah. or or of dying out here? Um, would you would you say? say again? You think there's a better chance of you getting clean and getting away from the streets and getting off the drugs or, or dying? Uh, dying. You think that's more likely? Yeah. No, I got I got another fear. Like I'm like I don't know what's a bigger fear. Like. Uh, Dying by myself, or my dad finding out that I'm gay. I was like, I don't know what I would do if my dad found out I was gay. He found out about all the all the stuff I was doing. Is that part of the problem? Maybe why you're using? Yeah. Being gay and not yeah not being open with your family, bro. Yeah, being gay. Yeah. What would you say is your greatest strength? I think my greatest strength is my ability to uh, pick myself up and keep going. Every day, every day, the way I, I I talk myself into, uh, you know what I mean? You're a young man, you, you still have your whole life ahead of you. Yeah. Yes, I do. How, how do you think your time on the streets has changed you? I think it's made me, uh, I think it's made me more frugal, like with my money. I think it's made me like really appreciate the value of a dollar. I think in the end it'll make me a stronger person. I'm sorry? I think in the end it'll make me a stronger person. What would you have done differently in your life if you could? No, I wouldn't have gotten kicked out of school. Yeah. I would have done what I can to uh, pursue my education. I get thrown out of school. So I could probably get a new career. So you still have hope? Yeah. <coughs> yeah. What was your favorite memory as a kid? Favorite memory as a kid was, um, let me think. Um, Probably all the time I spent with my father. Whenever my father would take me to go do something, like we go canoeing or go to a concert together, I really enjoy spending time with my father. You're close to your dad. Yeah. So being gay and him not knowing is mm -hmm. that'd, be, that'd be a big deal. Yeah. I don't want to find mm -hmm. out about that. I don't know. He's gonna take it. Is there shame that you feel? Yeah. Shame for what, being gay? Yeah. I'm not ashamed. What do you worry about? I'm not, I'm not worried about anything. I'm all right for the most part. I try not to worry. You're, you're somewhat content even though you're in a tough spot? Yeah, I'm content. Well. Everything's all right. Jason, what, what would you say is the most important lesson you've learned in your life? Um, just never stop believing, never stop praying, believe in God. You know, there's definitely God. It's the most important lesson, I believe, is that, that, that there's definitely um, a higher power that governs and rules everything around us. And uh, 
utilize, build a relationship with that God. You know, never think that there's no God. There definitely is a God. That's that's the uh, that's the lesson I learned. All right, Jason. Thank you so much for sharing your story. Mm-hmm. No problem. Wish you a lot of luck with that leg. No problem. Thank you so much.